What's up everyone, and welcome to Hardware for Gamers. This is a quick review of the Peerless Assassin 120 SE from Thermalright. The CPU cooler is priced really well at 50 USD, but is it any good? Yes, yes it is. It's a great CPU cooler that is really competitively priced. It performed really well in my 87 and 150 watt testing. The Peerless Assassin 120 SE does also have an ARGB version, and a ARGB white version. These versions range between 50 and 60 USD. All the versions of the Peerless Assassin have the same dimensions, those being 155 millimeters high by 125 millimeters wide by 135 millimeters deep. And that is with the fans attached. So based off these dimensions, there will be RAM clearance issues if you have tall or ARGB heat spreaders. So that's just something to keep in mind. For socket compatibility, the Peerless Assassin is compatible with the older mainstream Intel sockets. Now, there is an LGA 1700 kit, but you will have to buy it separately. And for AMD, it is compatible with AM4, which also means it's compatible with the future AM5. The Peerless Assassin is a really good CPU cooler, but there is an issue. And that's that Thermalrite has it competing against itself. And what I mean by that is Thermalrite's Assassin King 120 SE is 43 US dollars to the 50 US dollars of the Peerless Assassin 120 SE. So there's only a one to two Celsius difference for a $7 price difference. Meaning it really comes down to availability and pricing in your area on which one makes more sense to buy. And don't get me wrong, both coolers tested really well. So I wouldn't say getting the Peerless Assassin is a bad idea. You just need to understand thermally, there's just not going to be much of a difference. Now, if you want to learn more about Thermalrite's Peerless Assassin 120 SE, you can click on the link in the description and watch the full review. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.